So this is a video showing you how to actually create scale elements and objects for KidOps, and, and in particular for KidOps Synth, which is coming out, if it's not already out. So the point of this video is to kind of give you some tips and some techniques on how to model, as well as how to use the different modes in KidOps to create inserts. So hope you find this interesting and enjoyable. Okay, uh, let's get started. So first, let's go ahead and just select everything and delete it. And then we're going to use, uh, go to our front view. Use one of our favorite uh, add-ons, images as planes. And we'll go to our audio box file where I've got all these different uh, pictures of, of some of the stuff that we're doing. I'm going to take this front ping and I'll just import it using the defaults and then I'm going to rotate it R X 90 and there we have it now I need to actually crop this so I'm going to zoom all the way in here and I'll tab into it and then I'll control R I'm going to move this right to the edge right right there click control R move this one over here and click Control R, move this one up to about there, and click, Control R, and move this one right about there. I'm not going to worry about the feet. And click. Go into one, we'll select these, and we'll select these, and these, and these, X, and delete those vertices, and tab back out. Then with this selected, I'm going to uh, use my, uh, that's what it's called, Snap, Snapping Pies, 3D View Snapping Pies plugin, which you can get uh, off of the uh, GitHub from Master Xeon. I'll try and remember to put a link in it. If I don't, just holler at me. Um, and I use Shift S and say Origin to Geometry. So that moves the origin up and then say Shift S snap selection to cursor. So that basically centers all of that on there. Okay, if we look at this actual connector, we see that it's 23.4 millimeters across. So let's go in here and we're gonna say, Shift A, mesh, circle, and let's rotate it around the X90. And that's probably good enough resolution right there because these are gonna be small knobs. So what we want to do is we want to scale it to 23.4 in the diameter. And of course, here we have the radius. So I'm going to put 0, 0.234 and I'm going to divide it by 2 because we're looking for the radius. That's the size of this connector. And so what I'm going to do now is I want to scale this to fit that. So I'll select this and I'll hit the S key and I'm going to move it down. And I'll keep moving it down until I know that it fits it. Let's go with that. So what we've done now is we've basically scaled this image to the size of this connector. So that means we know that everything else on this is going to be an accurate scale. So to that and let's shift D X that move it over here. And I'm going to just scale it up because that's going to be our knob. We'll start right there with a the knob. I'll move it around to where I want it. Now with that knob there, go to the front view and let's tab into that. And let's say uh, a F fillet. And then let's do E, extrude it out, something like that. Uh, maybe a little farther. And control B, again, we'll use a uh, even number of sevens, let's say six. And I want it to be kind of not too, not too sharp, something like that. And then tab out of it. Right click it to shade smooth. I've got this auto smooth, which is over here, set up into my Q menu. So that's right there, the auto smooth turned on. Let's go back into my materials and I want this to be a plastic and we'll create a dark mat and we'll add that material to that. And that's gonna be our, our uh, main Motu knob. So I'm gonna save this in power save and then I'll say, uh, let's create an insert for this. So with this, I'll say create insert and here's our insert and I just need to rotate minus 90, control A the rotation and then 
Now what I need to do is Shift S and Origin to Geometry and then Shift S again and say Snap Selection to Cursor. So now we're right at the zero. Okay, now let's go down to the side view and again we want to move this up and it's going to be off the off of a little bit now if i insert this it's going to insert it right at this point like we've talked about before so what i'll do is say control a and i'll just say all transforms and it's going to put that there and so now if i look at my item it's at one scaled at one the rotations are all set and everything else i just need to go in here and say in kitops and name this and call it main knob and save insert and I've got this audio box right there I'll call it the main knob blend save insert and then we'll say camera to insert and I'll hit the Z key on the numpad and we'll just say render thumbnail and with that done we'll go over here and I'm just going to open up a new version of blender and I do that by middle mouse clicking on blender and in my taskbar and that'll open a brand new version and then I just go into KitOps here and we'll go into our S audio box there's our knob I'm gonna turn auto scale off add insert and there it is hmm that insert looks pretty big I have to say that doesn't look like it's uh it's the right size object here let's close the factory scene and let's look at this one more time I think we may be off by a scale of 10. So this object is 0.230. Oh, this should be 0.023, right? So that means I need to scale it. Let's just do that. That's 0 0.023. Ah, okay. So then I can just drag down and make these 0.11. And then this is, let's just do control A, make the scale and let's uh, make this Point one, and I think we're going to be in pretty good shape now. That means that this this object, let's go back into our uh, let's, let's uh, save this. I'm going to go back into our other object here, and there's our. I'm going to basically edit that insert. Lose into yes, and I'll just go into it, and let's just scale it to point one, enter, and then Control A, all transforms. And control s save so let's go back and then we'll go file file new general and kit ops and now we can go back into our audio box and auto scales off add insert that's probably much more accurate to what we're looking at right there and if we look at that item we'll see it's 2.283 uh meters and that's probably much more accurate for what we're doing. So I'm gonna exit, exit out of this, delete this. Let's keep going back in here and uh, control A, let's make that scale and save and zoom up on it and five, one. And I think we have our, do we have our uh, our circle here still? Here it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's way out there. Big, bring it down here and let's, uh, just set it let's take this object here and let's e uh, a e let's drop it down tab so q face orientation is on so we know that we're we we up oh. okay so this is one of the problems that we're having with images to plane so i'll go over here to under that and i'm going to say blend mode and just say opaque and now we can tab into this a shift in to fix the normals and now we're good okay so now we have this object and we have our little cylinder here and we want our cylinder first to cut into this object let's tab into that a f as in fill and e we're gonna drop it down something like this maybe some somewhere about that deep okay three and then say a shift in let's get those about right okay so and then let's cl click this top surface and i'll move that up and do an a again i'm going to have tab tab into this and select like this and select like this and say command minus and now we're cutting into that surface is what we're doing 
and let's go and look at it this way. There we go. Okay, I'm going to right click on this. I say shade smooth, Q auto smooth. So now notice that this is not smooth. Why is that? We just shade smooth. Well, that's because our cutter, come over here, we'll go into this and say viewport display, bounds, and I uh, wire. So that object right there needs to shade smooth. Let's look at solid. Uh, it also needs to have our auto smooth turned on. Okay. So wire, there we have it. So if you're wondering what I'm doing over here, this is what I've done is I've gone into this viewport display and under this display is wire. I just right click on this and I say change a shortcut and I change it to uh, alt one. So anytime I'm here, I can actually, whatever I have, I can go to bounds, wire, solid, whatever I want. So uh, with solid, I'm going to go ahead and tab into this, take this one uh, face, shift D, duplicate, right click to leave it where it is, P, selection. So that's the second one, it's called circle 01. Tab out of that with that with this selected, Alt 1, and we're going to turn that into bounds again. So now we have our, our hole, you can see it, and then we have this surface. And so I'm going to tab into this, and it looks like we've lost our gizmo. Not sure. Oh, that's because <laughs> that's just the space bar. We're animating. That's why. Okay, so let's uh, scale this down. Tab a scale it a little bit, and uh, and let's look at our reference material for that image. Here we go. We can see that this has just got a little bit of a quarter spin around here, and then this little object. So we're just going to kind of wing this as we go. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. So let's get started. Let's take that and we'll do a inset, move it into something like this. And we will take uh, this to there, there, and there. Okay, let's do that. That looks pretty good. And we'll extrude those out. That takes it right to the front of that. And with those selected, we'll say boundary loop. I have that map to a key also. Control B. And I'm going to make it just one. I'll just move it out. Something like this. So that'll be fine. Shade smooth. Auto smooth. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. Uh, auto smooth. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Next thing we have is this little this little device in here. So let's go in here. And uh, with that selected, hit tab. Select our face back here. There's our face. And we insert that. Somewhere on that looks about right. Yeah, that's probably good enough. And how far do we want to bring it out to the surface? Actually, I think we also want to do it from here to here. I'm going to actually hit the J key and hit the three and then select this E. And I'm going to bring it out to, to this corner. Here we go. And then I'm going to say Control B. Let's tab out of that. And let's do shift s origin to geometry and over here i'm gonna set, i'm gonna use the bound center now that's my origin and then i can say shift s snap cursor to selected now it's there okay now let's tab back into this guy shift a and i'm going to add a circle 90 radius 0.1 tab out of it tab back in. where's the circle oh there it is <laughs> okay so let's take this just the circle and we're going to scale it down and I'll move it out here and I'll fill it and I'll turn on these and let's look at this again these are going to have this little thing in here so I'll grab this this and this EX take that move it out okay a Q symmetrize it on the x-axis Positive X and negative X. There we have it. Okay. Control L will select everything there. And I just take this and say E. And I'm going to move it all the way. Uh, let's just move it this way. And then Control L will select all that again. And if we go sideways, we can actually push this in. Something like this. And you can just type in F3 and just type in Boolean. And you'll see face intersect boolean. That's the one you want. I have I have that mapped to my quick favorites. So if I go to Q, I'll just I see I have that mapped intersect boolean. 
and it's going to do it it's automatically going to do a difference for you because we're in edit mode remember we're not doing a this is not a modifier so we can tab out you know tab out of that and with that let's just go ahead and go into the, this is the um solid mode and that looks actually pretty good the only thing that we have is we have this one last face on the back we can just select it q coplanar there they are there it is i'm gonna x just the faces i'll delete all the faces for that and then i have this open area and because this is a boolean object i'm going to go ahead and select a and hit f and it'll just close all that up and that'll be fine and lastly let's uh shade smooth it and i want to go in and let's try and get this this rim set up so i'll go there i think we got it control b and we'll just add a little a little tiny bevel on that too and hit tab and now our connector is pretty much done okay so we have this about where we want it let's go ahead now and make it an insert the, actually before i do it let's go ahead and colorize this let's go ahead and give this a uh, material so i'll go under here and under synth metal let's go look at what we have that what that looks like that's actually it looks like a black anodized is what it looks like so let's go in here and see what we have under dark anodized actually we don't have a dark anodized dark let's, let's just go back to the plastic paint and let's just grab this dark matte material and let's add that material to it there we have it okay that looks good let's then take our objects remember that they're, they're they're parented so let's take that and let's say create an insert for it and let's rotate it uh select the object so let's say r x and i'll move it Hold the control key down and it's minus 90 that's fine and then i will control a and i'm going to apply my rotation transform let's take the, our our object which is actually this object is not in a bad place in fact if i just go item x zero that there you go and then let's go on the z zero that now our center is about where we want it in fact I actually want to move it up just a tad bit more like maybe something like this control a all transforms control a all transforms okay so that's that's where we have it and i'm going to basically go in here and call this a mic connector and let's save the insert and now that it's saved let's do uh let's look at it camera to insert and hit the zero button and notice that this is this is really all screwed up and the reason why I screwed up is because we're just too small. And if we go into the camera, the KidOps camera, you can see that our uh, our clipping is just uh, clip start 0.001. That'll get it for us. I can I can adjust that there. I'll go in queue, lock camera to view, let's move it down, something like that. And then uh, I, I I might want to test this F12. This will give me a quick test. Ah, that looks pretty good. So I'll hit render thumbnail. So. And now I don't want to save this, remember, because it's got all this stuff here. So let's close the factory scene and we're back out to where we were. Okay, so now we have that connector complete. 